All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a couple of real people out there just like you, just like me. All right, so um, what's going on with Celine Dion? What is wrong with Celine Dion? She reveals she now has an incurable neurological disorder and uh, she, I guess, did this emotional video. I didn't watch the video. I couldn't bear to watch it. I watched actually a little portion of it, but I didn't watch the entire thing. Uh, speaking out on Instagram, the 54-year-old Canadian native said, as you know, I've always been an open book. And I wasn't ready to say anything before, but I'm ready now. I've been dealing with problems with my health for a long time. Okay, so um, that sentence would indicate that maybe this was pre all of the madness that has ensued since 2021, we'll say, since the beginning of 2021. Um, but I don't know what that means a long time, years and years, or months and months. I don't know. But um, none of what's been going on can be helpful to somebody who's been diagnosed with a rare neurological condition. Can we, can we say that? Can we, we at least get that out there? Whether you think um, this is related to some of the things that have been happening, I'm having trouble keeping up with all of these. I mean, every single day. And by the way, um, there was a, a hearing or a meeting uh, yesterday in Washington, DC, and uh, people need to go and find that meeting. I will try to link it uh, here on this video in the description, because I think people need to understand what is happening. A bunch of doctors got together uh, with uh, Senator Ron Johnson, and um, it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting stuff. And um, I don't know if the Celine Dion situation is related. I have no idea. But everything is just a coincidence, right? Everything, yeah, nothing really to see here. Uh, Dion revealed she had been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, which I had never heard of before. Have you ever heard of stiff person syndrome? SPS, which she explained affects something like one in a million people. You would think they would come up with uh, a different kind of name. Um, but anyway, that's the diagnosis here. Uh, SPS is defined by the Cleveland Clinic as a rare, now get this, a rare autoimmune movement disorder that affects the central nervous system, including the brain and the spinal cord. People with this condition first experience a stiffening of the muscles of their trunk, followed over time by the development of stiffness and rigidity in the legs and other muscles in the body. Dion detailed the specific problems she has been having, including mobility issues. Uh, she says, while we're still learning about this rare condition, we now know this is what has been causing all of the spasms I've been having. Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. The mother of three shared one pre-taped video in English and one in French, announcing that she would have to postpone the European leg of her tour. She goes on to say, it hurts me to tell you today that this means I won't be ready to restart my tour in Europe in February, said Dion. I have a great team of doctors, however, working alongside me to help me get better and my precious children who are supporting me and giving me hope. Keep in mind, again, she's only 54 years old. In January, the My Heart Will Go On singer, I love how they just peg her to that one titanic moment in her career, uh, canceled the uh, remaining North American shows from her Courage World Tour, citing a recovery from recent health issues as her reasoning. So that was back in January. Uh, when this became a big issue, January of 2022. What happened in January of 2021? Anyway, like I said, Celine Dion 
a little bigger than just the one song. Uh, if you go back, I was a fan back in 1990. If there was any other way, where does my heart beat now? Uh, the last to know. And then, of course, uh, her duet with uh, Peebo Bryson, Beauty and the Beast. Um, she's really big on movie soundtracks. Nothing Broken But My Heart was a big song. Love Can Move Mountains, Water From the Moon. She has a pretty good list of hit songs. When I Fall in Love, a duet with Clive Griffin, The Power of Love, Misled, Think Twice, Only One Road. I mean, she had a lot of music on mostly adult contemporary radio stations. To Love You More was another hit song by Celine Dion. Of course, uh, nothing tops um, her Titanic song, though, at least uh, when it comes to the media, that's all they're going to focus on. And I think it was the second biggest selling single by a female artist of all time. So uh, yeah, it's a big deal. So in any event, uh, obviously, we hope this doesn't get Worse, the headline says it's incurable and it's also progressive, but she's working with doctors and uh, maybe something good will happen. Maybe a miracle will occur. By the way, the other day I reported on uh, Steven Tyler. Aerosmith has uh, canceled all of their shows in Vegas now due to Steven Tyler's health issues. So a lot of stuff going on, folks. Um, you know, it would be nice if, you know, a 54-year-old wasn't suffering from a rare neurological disorder. One in a million, she says. It's a one in a million chance that somebody can get this. So again, maybe I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist. <clears throat> maybe you should watch the hearing that I tuned into yesterday with Senator Ron Johnson. I mean, I know there are a lot of people that have cognitive dissonance or... There are a group of people out there who think there's no way they could have done this. There's no way they could have actually gone ahead and put this out there the way they did and not felt like they were the worst people, you know, the human race has ever encountered. But yet here we are. Here we are. So <clears throat> like I always say, you do your own research. I'm not going to say things that I'm not supposed to say on here, but I think the people who follow this channel know where I stand on this. And why wouldn't you err on the side of caution? Why would you just throw caution to the wind and continue to do so? After that hearing yesterday, you know, the usual suspects went forward with yet another edict telling uh, six month olds that they are now in the club that they can go ahead and do what people have been doing now for almost three years, which is just absolutely stunning. And it's another day in the land of opposite day, because that's pretty much every day. All right, people, I'm sorry for the serious tone in this one, but um, there's no real good way to talk about how somebody's got a neurological disorder that's incurable. Uh, we hope and pray that Celine Dion beats the odds. She is super talented and uh, definitely a part of my uh, musical um, DNA growing up, listening to great music. Her voice, angelic, powerful, and very distinctive. So in any event, that's my video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.